Yo guys, welcome to the game. Today we're going to look through uh, Gary Kasparov from the World Junior Championship of 1980. Uh, playing against Kasparov's playing with the white bleed pieces. And this position is the uh, modern defence. Something uh, I see a lot online myself, so I thought it would be an interesting game to go over. So let's start. So Kasparov starts with e4. His opponent Colin uh, McNabb. There's the modern defence. Let's turn off these kibitzes. Let me do this. And then we follow the main line for a while. D6. Stop uh, an e5 straight away. Bishop g5, g7, now c3 supporting this uh, blunt in this diagonal against the bishop. Knight f6, and then we have knight d2 to protect this pawn. Uh, that's why it's important to get the bishop out first in these lands. So we can move this knight here without uh, blocking the bishop in. And now we have knight a6, which is the main line. This is supporting the idea of a letter c5 break. So not to block this pawn, because this is, uh, although it might look like it would have been more natural to move the knight here, it blocks this break, which is uh, one of the main features. Knight here would also have been okay, as you've been seen before. And white doesn't really want to give up this bishop, this light square bishop. So that'll be a good, uh, powerful piece. Even though it would double these pawns. Knight of three. Castles. Should be two. Now the c5 brick. And white doesn't really mind about, uh, this uh, diagonal getting weakened, he'd rather develop his pieces. So, the castle's here. And in fact, Black just plays knight c7 here. He doesn't take straight away. This, however, gives uh, White the opportunity to take. It might look strange at first, uh, unnatural to take away from the center. But to recapture, Black also needs to retake. But the key feature of this exchange, which is taken, is that white can gain access to this file quicker. Black's pieces aren't developed, but white's rooks can connect on this file quicker. And black's queen hasn't got the nice uh, space of c7, now that this knight moves blocks it in, to move out the way of the rooks. So it, it's a good way to keep the initiative going. So now we have strange looking move knight e6 attacking this bishop. Sparrow just draws the bishop back. Now we have knight f4. So this knight's going for a walk attacking the other bishop. Sparrow just moves it uh, onto this nice diagonal. Now we have queen d7, which uh, <laughs> looks a little strange at first, inviting this rook, but its, it's idea is to play uh, a move like this to gain some space on the queen side. So even though it looks strange, you have to look for the ideas, because Sparrow stops that idea, therefore. And then his own idea of moving the rooks onto this file is still prevalent. Then we have uh, knight f6 to h5. <coughs> uh, releasing the bishop and gaining more activity near white's king. Although you'll see this doesn't quite uh, pull off anything for him. So now we have. 
Okay, F3 one. And this is another idea. Queen G4. Where it just draws the bishop in covering that. And we have E5 cementing the knight here uh, and blocking in the white squared bishop. How does uh, Kasparov react? <coughs> oh, sorry. That was meant to be rook e1, not d1. So we have. Now here we have. D1 as well, so no white's got control of these two open files. <coughs> no black makes a, a move that you may not understand straight away. Moves his queen back to D7, which might look uh, horrible at first. Uh, why not play something like Rook D8? In fact, let's uh, turn the capitza for a second. It's uh, quite a big advantage to white at the second. Uh, this, this, this queen's going to get kicked back there anywhere. So, moves there before being provocated to do so. So, in this position, Sparrow with temper. Reroutes his knight to this nice central square. Why these holes? White uh, blocks position. Black finally moves his queen to c7, but now it's uh, blocked by its own pawn on this nice diagonal. Spread of reroutes the knight to e3. And we have bishop e6, challenging this uh, bishop here. Kasparov goes for this exchange and Colin captures with the knight not wanting the compromised structure weaknesses but now that the uh, light squared defender has gone this big hole is uh, exploited with knight d5 And now Block has to move his queen yet again, and he moves it to b8. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, planning to break out over here. Now White moves his bishop back to h4, uh, corresponding his pieces on the dark squares over here. Black plays uh, King H8, moving out the way of any potential checks. Now Kasparov starts to reroute the other knight with knight d2. Black does try and break out with b5. We have a takes b. Queen takes b5. And now move up. Rook to A1 uh, for a plan that's hard to see at the moment, but you'll see in a second. We now have Knight F4. This is Kasparov's plan. Queen A4. <laughs> uh, so sort of challenging this queen here. The queen doesn't in fact take. If the queen takes over here, it's still an advantage to white. I'm just going to pressure up. He's still got this nice grip on the position. It's hard to play. So in fact we have queen d3 attacking this knight. We 
we have rook d1. <laughs> then we have knight takes e4, one takes, then queen takes d5. Now knight c4. Queen has to move. Moves to uh, b7. And now the plot, the point of uh, the queen being here, in in this alternate variation, is it spots this entry point here. So now we have a rook on the seventh. Rook d7. So the queen moves, moves yet again to b8. And now we have a nice little tactical move, bishop e7. So, black moves to rook to e8, and now we support the other rook with rook to d1. No black air tries to get rid of this infestation with bishop f8. White jumps onto the dark squares. Bishop f6 check. Black just thinks he can go back. But here we are, grow up the king. This nice little move, knight d6, attacking this pawn. So the rook retreats. Rook to f8. And it also supports this uh, nice little move. Um, what a game. So rook to b7, so the queen's getting chased yet again. <laughs> it can't move anywhere except into this uh, discovery the queen to d8 here we have knight takes f7 queen to f6 and then instead of playing a discovery straight away we have rook d7 doubling up on this file uh, that goes for queen f4 threatening mate back rank mate Taken. E takes the four. Then knight g five check. King f six. Knight takes h seven. She's gonna pick up the exchange. And uh, Colin resigned here. <laughs> I mean, what a game. <laughs> so uh, the key points of the game is, if we can summarize quickly. It's from the opening uh, in this position with the e5 brick, c5 brick rather. Uh, White has the chance to open the file himself. When Block recaptures, he gains control of the file first, which is uh, an opening plus. Uh, he defends his king side, uh, and later on, he has this uh, wonderful uh, queen a4 maneuver which supports this entry point on here which was uh, underestimated even though it looked like uh, he was giving up this nice knight here uh, this second it transitioned into an even more powerful plan uh, so yeah what a wonderful game